What's up, Ravens Flock? Good morning. About to go into virtual meetings. Shoot, I wish I was, um, you know, at the facility with my teammates and coaches, but I'm not. So this is the, be the best way to get better. Hi, right, JK. You ready, man? What you want to do first? You want to do the blitz walkthrough, or the, uh, or you want to do a little? Uh, who wants to be a millionaire? Let's do. Let's do the blitz walkthrough first. All right, so now let's turn this out. When the uh, safety comes down right here, let's say that. Uh, we got two jet, two jet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're two jet. Yep, so now we got 44 and uh, look like 50. Working with Coach Weiss one-on-one uh, -on -one is definitely a great, a great thing. You know, he finds different ways for me to learn, you know, fun, you know, any kind of innovative way we can learn, we, we try it. So it's definitely been great. I've learned a lot. You know, he's a great coach. He's, he's teaching me well. Can you run it back one more time? Got it. You would like to be on the field and, you know, see it physically, you know, in person. But I feel like what he's come, come up with on, on virtual meetings is uh, amazing. You know, you get to see what, like, kind of blitzes they're bringing. I feel like um, I, I'll be ready to, you know, get on the practice field and I'll, I'll know my plays whenever it comes down to it. All right, here we go. For $100. The search tag on any four vertical concept puts the running back on what route? You got a slow. C slow? Yes, sir. Final answer? Yes, sir. Okay. For $200, what NFL team used to reside in Baltimore? It's definitely fun meetings, though. You know, it's, uh, you got how to be a millionaire. You know, you want to get all the money. If you keep going, you Keep, you keep getting money, but you could get to the last question like me. Oh, hey, I'm going all the way to one meal today. <laughs> Final question for a million dollars. What college did Coach Harbaugh go to? Oh, a, man. Michigan. Man. B, Western Michigan. C, Ohio. <laughs> or D, Miami of Ohio. Well, so I, I played against his brother, and his brother went to the team of North. So, that's kind of a tricky question because you know it's like he's like, is he talking about the, the other Harbaugh or is he talking about my head coach? So now let me clarify. I'm talking about John Harbaugh. Oh, you talking about? Oh, that's Michigan. Okay. Final answer. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh my hey, God. Miami of Ohio. He's got a statue at Miami of Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, 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 that was that was that was a cheap question right there. I didn't know one of them went to a uh, school in Ohio, you know? so uh, it was yeah, it was definitely a, a tough question for me. All right, J.K. We got offense at eleven. I'll see you in there. All right, yeah, see you in there. Awesome guys, great to see everybody. Hope everybody and their family are well. Um, thinking about rings, 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 rings. Uh, that's how we got to think, fellas. It's hard to get to the playoffs, but, uh, and then when you get to the playoffs, it's like a whole new season. And that's when you got to make, make hay and uh, make a legacy, guys. And, and obviously there's haves and have nots in this league every year. Everybody's a have when the season starts. And then certain people just fall by the wayside. Certain people keep getting stronger, and that's who's standing at the end. I just always want to be the best. Like, I want to be the best in anything I do. And with that comes, like, a fear of being average. And I don't want to be average. I don't ever want to be average. So I'm always so motivated. And I just find little things, like, to really, like, really take myself off a little bit so I can keep that shoulder, uh, chip on my shoulder. So uh, motivation never been a problem for me. A lot of ways to win games. We're going to do it our way. But guys, if we don't protect the football um, and not turn it over, you got really no chance in this league. So ball security, protecting the football, not turning it over. All the little details that go into that, fellas. That's the price of admission. That's something we've been pretty good at here. We look at our wins, we protect the ball. When you look at when we don't win, we probably didn't protect the ball. And uh, Matt Weiss is going to talk to, to us about the finer points here. 
before we break up and get into uh, individual. Take it away, Matt. All right, so it's awesome to be a part of history right now. The first ever virtual ball security meeting in history of Ravens football. So you guys know a lot of the basics. We talk about them all year, and we know in our offense it's more important, right? Because we go on long drives, okay? Uh, it takes us more plays because we run the clock, we eat clock, and it takes us more plays, and therefore ball security is even more important for us. I hear like at the, at the at NFL level, ball security is even more of an emphasis because guys make their money by making you fumble the ball or making a turnover. So that's a very big emphasis and it's always the most important thing. And that's, that's, that's just one thing that you can keep tuning. This is a point uh, often made by Coach Cully. Okay, so you'll see this here. Body ball boundary. I hear him say it all the time, right? Body ball boundary. You see him switch the ball right here, which one, you should never do in traffic. But two, obviously you want the ball on the outside arm, right? So body ball boundary. You can see why I expose them to more contact. And then a classic one and two, as the pads go down, the ball pops out. So the thing I'll leave you guys with, we'll talk about it in training camp and all that, but mindset, man, you gotta be thinking about ball security all the time. Nice job, Matt. Guys, it's so important. You know, we're gonna drill it. You gotta think about it on top of all the other things you learn. There's gotta be a skill we become the best at. All right, fellas, coming down the home stretch of this off season. Uh, make sure you guys are taking care of your bodies. All uh, right, fellas, yeah, so that's what we got. I'll run down I'll run down what we've got today. A little bit more reps. Where there's not more reps, we're going to add a little bit more load. But the first two things, we've got the rear foot elevated split squat, where the first eight reps are dumbbell loaded. So the virtual workouts have been pretty pretty good, you know. I uh, feel like we get great work done. You know, the coaches get to watch us, you know, move around, move some weights. I feel like they give us great workouts and keep us in shape. Good, JK, extend that hip up top. Hip up top, get through. Good, good, Gino, good, Aaron. That'll work, that'll work. Good, Roger, almost there, boys, almost there. Keep working, come on. Drop and catch, stand back up. I actually do have access to a gym, and like all the stuff we need like for the workout. So I do everything coaches ask me to do. So that hasn't been a problem. And then yeah, that, that beach workout, you know, that just actually extra work. I, like I said, I gotta be better. I gotta be, gotta be the best. Training camp is coming super fast, you know. And uh, that that ball is gonna get kicked off. No matter, you know, you'll see if somebody's been working or not. And so I'm very excited about that. And I'm just excited to see like my teammates and just ex finally experience real NFL. You know, like you've been dreaming about it since a kid. And now I get to see what it's really like. So I'm excited about that. Very excited about it.